Hey everybody, um, this is Tina. I just want to tell you a dream that I had the other day. I don't think I posted up, but just to uh, pre-tell you the dream that I had before. Um, that we were in a, uh, a room. This, my, this room might be um, after the rapture. The manager, which I knew was Jesus Christ, and this woman, possibly the Holy Spirit. And the manager was passing out certificate. There was a whole bunch of people passing out certificates and rewards and whatever. My little niece was there. There was a line for little kids. Him, my little niece, she had a certificate. I was like, oh, she didn't. How the heck she had got a certificate? She's only three. And so God, I guess God was passing out random things. Maybe she knows how to pray and and and, and praise the Lord or whatever. So she has a really random crazy ticket, um, certificate, just to make them feel special. And so the woman, which I think the Holy Spirit is, told me if you stay. You're definitely getting hired, okay? I knew I had like abilities, like four, um, three to four points. Okay, I had like, I was okay. It was a grocery market. The manager was Jesus Christ. I was a teacher. Oh, I, I was a substitute, really. Jesus Christ is the main teacher. I was a substitute. I was the register. I was the the I stock on the food. So basically, I worked my way down, bottom and up. You know, um, the like God said, the beginning was a word. The word was with God. The word is God. The more you do the word now, the less you do it. The less work you have to do up, up in heaven. But the least you do now, the more work you're going to have to do in heaven. You're going to have more privileges when you do more work of the words. The work of the word, you know. I know you don't get saved doing the work. But um, the word is the word of God. And you cannot live without doing his word. Like he said, you cannot live without doing his word. And when I can't do his word, I repent. I'm sorry. I asked the Lord to help me. Okay. It's what the Lord can do, not what you can do. And so we can't really boast because if we're the servant, okay, like the, the owner is not going to say thank you to the servant because the servant, that is what he has to do. Okay. While the, the owner is giving shelter and food for the servant, you know. Um, like God is providing things for us. Okay, so this is something that we have to do for God and and God's not gonna uh, Thank us for doing this. This is what we're expected to do his words Because we're the servant because he died on the cross for us already where he paid us with a price already. So um, He paid us with the price. So We that's why we can't boast. We can't be you know I was doing boasting and I didn't even know that. Like, I thought I was important and somebody important, but I'm just any regular person, you guys. Um, so I was, when I was boasting, I was like, yeah, I'm good. Like, I was, I felt like I was stealing God's thunder. And, and I think that's what's the case. You know, <clears throat> God's doing all this for His glory. Okay. He's the one who's changing me, not me changing myself. Okay. Uh, I asked the Lord to change me because I was incapable. I was the point of ecstasy that I couldn't change. I had to ask the Lord, change me. I opened heart, my heart up and I asked the Lord, change me, you know. You got to be sincere and God will change you. And you got to want it, you know what I mean? And so you got to want to stop, you know, just having sex or alcohol, whatever it is. You got to want it, you know, even though you're in captivity under the devil because you invited him in by drinking his a poison cup. But now you have to kick him out. And first of all, you got to declare you, you've sinned against God and it, and you have a problem and ask God to help you fix it. That's it. And, and trust and have faith in him. Here's the thing. Um, in that dream, I had like three or four points. Um, I was able, okay, some of the people that had one or two points, they had no option but to go back in the world and, and uh, do God's end time plan. But with me, I had like three or four points. I had option whether I can stay up in heaven with the rapture and God has something for me to do up there. Or I can go down here and help my family out. I was like, Lord, if I have supernatural body, I think when we're raptured, we're going to have supernatural body, you guys. So uh, I, I told the Lord, if I have supernatural body, I don't mind going down here and help my family out. Because what's the point of telling them? They don't believe me now. What make you think they're going to believe me later? Unless I have a supernatural body, then they'll be like, okay, this girl's like, you know, she she's telling us the truth, you know what I mean? But other than that, I don't think they they will listen to me. And, and, and you know, 
And so that I'm not being selfish, but that's that's really how it is. I did not prepare myself to go to tribulation, you guys. And and then a uh, dream that I had today, which is also about three or four points. I was um there was this uh like a uh, flea farmers market, but there was only one booth. Um on the 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 gate on the gate or on the fence there was they, there was like a vine. It grew cucumber, watermelon, honeydew, all sorts of melon stuff. And on that on the table they were selling apples, and I was about to buy an apple. And so the apple represent you know how God said you are the apple of my eye. Jerusalem is the the apple of God eye. Anybody that God pick is the apple of His eye. I was gonna buy an apple. I had three. Here you go, the three something three sixty nine or something like that. I had three dollars and sixty nine. Here you go, the three sixty nine again. Um, the last room I had, I had like three, almost four points, and now I have three dollar and like sixty nine, seventy eight, something like that. And that's this is the same dream, just to, you know. So, you know how God was trying to tell me that is His dream. Um. So, um. So what happened was that apple cost me all oh, almost three dollar and seventy something cents, and I was like, I ain't about to buy no apple for four bucks. You know, it's just way too expensive. I would not purchase that because I'm cheap. <laughs> you guys, you know, and you know, this represent this parable. This apple was represent, um, you know, the, you know, sell all this stuff, pick up the cross and follow God. You know, how much are you willing to trade for your soul? How much are you willing? What is profit to you to gain the whole world but lose your soul? Okay. It cost me the whole three dollar. That's all I had, and that's all I spent. I'm like, you know, suck it. It's uh, it's almost end of the world. You know, I mean, I don't want to be carrying three dollars. Might as well just buy it. Like, oh, it's end of the world anyway. So might just give up everything now because it's, it's pointless at, at this point. You know what I mean? God said, lay your treasures in heaven where it cannot be robbed, rust, or um, get old. You know what I mean? So it's wise to stock your stuff in heaven right now. Sell your stuff, give it to the poor. That's how you're gonna stock. But don't let your right hand know from your left. So I was like, I, it was just too expensive. You know, the rich man asked Jesus, how does he get into heaven? And Jesus told him, you know, sell your stuff, give it to the poor. And the rich man walked away because he could not do that. It was too hard for him. He, you know, and like the scripture said, what what is profit to you to, you to gain the whole world but lose your soul? So it's going to cost you everything, it, literally. It's going to cost you everything. Well, God will let you know it's got, what it's going to cost you. It cost me and it's going to cost you, okay? It's going to cost you to purchase that apple. And there were so many app apples to be purchased. A lot of apple was not purchased because it was too expensive. Nobody wanted to buy it. Nobody wanted to go heaven because n n not much people want to give up everything and follow Christ. And so there was still a, a handful of apple love. Okay, and I was like, dang, I would never see myself buy no four dollars apple. If I wouldn't, you know, if God didn't came to me, I I would not have done the crazy things I've done. You know, what I mean, I didn't go evangelize and this and that. God's word, and so that's what the apple represent. Like, you know, it's expensive. Going to heaven is expensive. <laughs> like that apple was the apple was like the ticket to heaven. You know, I mean yeah, that that's what, how that interpretates and then I went to the counter with this guy with a computer I think he's an angel he's like the manager I like the it was like another place like and he was at, I was asking him like how much points do I have or how much where am I at kind of thing because I've been asking the Lord where am I at and you know the angel let me know that I'm about three points and like almost four points three seventy eight three something and the more you do God's word the more points you do you gain like evangelize preach do something crazy for the Lord you know um fast okay pray if you're praying and worshiping the Lord you're getting points that those are simple points that you can do praising the Lord and praying and fasting those are easy points that you know you have no okay I'm not talking about five, ten minutes praying, you know, pray like like at least half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour, or one or two hours. I'm talking about serious praying, you know. Um, so 
don't don't tell me you guys can't pray or praise the Lord and read the Bible, okay? Read the Bible and, and stuff like that, okay? And when you know more a good handful about the Lord, you go evangelize, you get more points, you know, like um, you know, help the poor, help the needy, go uh, preach to the people in prison, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's so much stuff, and so um help the community just help just about loving and whatever i'm not saying i'm super perfect you guys but i had like almost four points which is a, a pretty decent you know average i i consider myself like between medium and low i was like in between there and i i seen somebody with a gazillion points okay i had only four points i'm like oh my god this is pathetic compared to this guy that had a gazillion point okay this is probably like a really good pastor that that was doing God will like crazy and he got like a zillion points I don't know but he got a lot of points it was on the computer and it's like in heaven they don't use money anymore they use points and so when you do God's will now that's the work for you to do in heaven so he, you know I was like dang I, I look at the, his point he had like a zillion points and I had only four points I'm like dang I am so I'm so behind, you know what I mean? I'm so down there. And I, I need a, you know, now is the time to gain yourself some extra credit. Fast, pray, evangelize, just get rid of all your money and possession right now, you guys. And so, um, and if you don't have points, you ain't gonna have no ha nice house in heaven. You gonna give, live in those funny apartments, those little cooped up apartments, little tiny apartments. So, if if you really seriously sell all your stuff and give it away, and and you know do it and don't let your right hand don't let it by your left hand know you are gonna get some like serious point. Everything is recorded, okay, y'all. And I was like, man, I need to gain myself some. I need some. I want some five. I need five points. That's that's my goal is to get five points. Uh, but I'm like. Okay, the only thing I can do now is worship, pray, read the Bible, and evangelize. Those are the only thing that I can think of doing. And your crown is going to look much nicer, okay? There's going to be three type of crown, okay? A lot of people is going to have the, the, th uh, the um, thorn crown because they're just kind of like, they didn't have too much money to give away or they didn't really do too much of God's work, but they just kept repentance, you know, they just... But the, the, the one with the luxurious crown are the ones that are actually doing the will of the Father, you know, doing God what God's asking you to do. And so far, I'm not really doing the thing God's asking me. And so I repent, you guys, I repent. You know, um, so I'm, I'm just telling you guys out there that a lot of you are going to be surprised uh, that you're going to go, you know, you're going to you're going to be raptured out and you're going to come back here. So, um you having supernatural body or not i don't know but um i know that um uh it's anyways that uh, i'm i'm thinking you're gonna have supernatural bodies but again i don't know okay that's it bye you guys